Winston, the fake Ghostbuster. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another three three quarter inch action figure two pack review set on the Gamer vs. Civil Warrior and Marvel's The Collector. If you're trying to pick these up? You can get them at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Actually, did pick this set up, obviously at GameStop. It still has the sticker right over there. But anyway, this is a cool looking two pack set. I had to get it. I missed out on the STCC version of this collector, so yeah, now I finally have one. And then on the side, you can see right there, we get Civil Warrior. And then on the back, you can see a read-up on Civil Warrior. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Then here's the read-up on the collector. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And then on this side, you can see the collector right over there. Not much going on at the top or at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here are the figures out of the packaging. And I think these are both good-looking pieces, man. I mean, that's why I bought them, really, because I thought they both looked cool while I was looking at them in packaging. And now that I have them out of the package, I still think they both look pretty awesome. We get some great looking paint apps throughout on both of these pieces. There are some things with the articulation that I'm going to get into that uh, frustrate me a little bit here and there. All right, we're going to get into that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, still good looking pieces. So I do like the collector figure. I do want to take a closer look at that. And then we'll take a closer look at the Civil Warrior. So looking closely at the head sculpt for the collector figure, I got to say, I really like it. I love all the wrinkles that we're seeing right here. I like the paint around his eyes and his mutton chops and his hair looks really good. I'm noticing that he does not have any eyebrows. Uh, I guess he's not supposed to have eyebrows. The image on the back of the packaging showed him without any eyebrows, but I do think it looks pretty good. I like that old grumpy man face that we see on this. Very, very good looking. I like how the hair looks right there. Great sculpt. I like the cape. I like that we can see some texturing in the cape right here. So that is pretty awesome. I'm not sure if this cape has been used before on other figures. I don't have the STCC exclusive version of this. So I don't know, uh, you know, like really if there's going to be other, you know, paint app differences. I guess I could just show an image right over here. So that could help us, you know, determine, you know, what kind of differences that we're seeing. So, but I do like the gold paint that we're seeing. I love this gunmetal gray throughout. That's one thing that's just very appealing to me. I just really like that color. Uh, the gold lining right over here looks really good. Nice and clean. Uh, the forearms look pretty good also. I like that. I just don't like the... There's no wrist swivel on these. And it just frustrates me. I'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good with the belt once again. And you can see the texturing right here. It's also in the inside, and we've seen this body many times before, which I like a lot. But they've given him new boots right there, which look really good. So I do like the paint apps that we're seeing on there, a little splotch, but not that big of a deal. He still has pickles at the bottom of his feet. Then he's looking at the back of the figure again. There's your collector butt and collector back. So we get two accessories for the Civil Warrior figure, and I like them both. I think this is pretty nifty. Nice looking shield. I'm not very familiar with Civil Warrior at all. So yeah, this is like really new to me, but uh, yeah, apparently he's from an alternate dimension or an alternate reality, or alternate reality, and uh, yeah, it's Captain America. So anyway, you get this cool blast effect piece right here which I don't think I've seen before maybe on an Iron Man figure or something but I gotta say regardless I really like it you know you get these little spikes right here and they're pretty soft beautiful looking translucent blue plastic I think that is really cool if I darken my settings a bit yeah you can see some more of those details in there I think that is dope really digging that quite a bit and of course you could rotate it around right here it is very tricky getting this thing clipped onto the figure uh, without it you know falling over of course you could just clip it onto the forearm or the wrist but it will want to droop down on you but as you'll see in the photos and stuff I was able to make it work it's just a little tricky balancing everything out but you guys know me I love the art of balance and then here's looking at the Civil Warrior head sculpt and I think this looks pretty cool man even though I'm not really familiar with this version of Captain America I do think this is pretty nifty looking it kind of has that AmeriCop look, you know? I don't know, like future police officer, Captain America kind of thing going on. I don't know. I think it's pretty awesome. I love all the silver that we're seeing throughout. We get that very light blue color for the eyes, and then the silver for the A looks really good. We get a gunmetal gray right there over the mouthpiece. You can see we get some of these little kind of like metallic looking wings right there. So that's pretty neat. The neck looks really good. I'm liking that. 
A uh, little bit of paint splotching going on right there, but I think this is pretty neat. He doesn't have a port on his back or anything for the shield, uh, but the shield doesn't have a port to plug into that, so I'm used to seeing that on the 6-inch figures. But anyway, looking at the arms and the chest and everything, I think this looks really cool. I like all of that. I don't know if they've reused parts from another figure right here, uh, but the arms are extremely short. I mean, I think they should go down a little bit further than that. He has these really short, stumpy arms, so that's probably my biggest gripe with this figure, you know? I don't know. Just really, really stumpy. But again, the sculpt and the silver paint, and the nice looking red paint that we're seeing throughout on this looks great. Clean red seams right there on the thighs. I'm liking that. There's your Civil Warrior butt. The lower back looks pretty cool too. I like this whole spine thing sculpted right there. I like the pouches and the belt. And then the legs look really good. Nice looking kneecaps in here and everything, man. And I'm pretty pleased with this. I, I think this looks pretty awesome. I don't know, I just really like it a lot. I would love to have a 6 inch scale version of this. He does have his peg holes at the bottom of the feet right there as well. So yeah, pretty good looking figure. Ooh, paint splotch! Now to go over the articulation on this collector figure. I do like it, but there's frustration. So you can move his head up, so that's pretty sweet. And you can make his head look down. You get side to side motion like that. And no real head pivoting. Uh, shoulders can move all the way up and you can move them down you can rotate a full 360 then you get a bicep swivel in there single jointed elbow a no rotation at the elbow and no wrist swivel that is very very frustrating especially because you cannot get him into the pose that we see on the back of the packaging right over here uh, the closest thing that we can get to that is like this sausage party kind of thing you know and that's about it so that's frustrating uh, we get the diaphragm swivel right there no real pivoting just a tiny bit but he'll crunch forward a bit back a bit he'll also has a waist swivel and then his hips can move outward pretty far and then he'll kick forward that much back upper thigh cut double jointed knees and then his ankles move down they do move up and he does have ankle pivot and to go over to the civil warrior articulation we do get a neck hinge so he can look up that much which is pretty cool you can look up very far and down very far you get side to side motion at the neck no head pivoting uh, shoulders will move up that far and down you could rotate 360 no bicep swivel which is so weird but you can bend his elbow at not quite 90 degrees and he has rotation at the elbow and he does have wrist swivels. Uh, he has a diaphragm joint that could turn side to side. He'll crunch forward a bit and back and you get some good diaphragm pivot. No waist swivel right here, uh, but you can get the legs moving outward. No thigh cuts. I wish he had thigh cuts. He can, can kick forward though and back and he can bend both of those knees right there, those double jointed knees and then he can move his ankles down. They will move up and he does have ankle pivot. Now to measure out these two figures, you can see that Civil Warrior is standing a little over four inches tall as well as the Collector. Uh, they're standing at the same height. And to compare the Collector and Civil Warrior figures next to a couple wave mates, we have the PS4 Spider-Man and Mr. Negative. And I did read a comment saying that you can remove the jacket right over there. I didn't know that. That's kind of nifty. See? I read the comments. Then here's Civil Warrior next to a couple other not Steve Rogers Captain America figures. We have Vance Astro and the Sam Wilson Captain America. Then here's the Collector next to some three three quarter inch STCC exclusive figures from the Infinity Gauntlet set. Uh, the Star Fox and the Nebula were from that set, I believe, and then the Thanos was definitely not. And this is probably likely how I would have a collector displayed. I didn't want to see if I could fit an Infinity Gauntlet on his forearm right here. I believe he had the Infinity Gauntlet in the comics at one point, right? Didn't he? I don't know, unless I'm mistaken. But hey, that fits pretty well, right? Looks pretty good. So I'm kind of stoked that works. Then here's the 3 3 quarter inch scale collector and Civil Warrior figures. Next to your average 6 inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Negative Spider Man. Oh my god, a fake Captain America! Get this little guy out of here! Come on, move along! <laughs> I gotta thank you guys for watching my video. I really do appreciate it when you guys watch these videos all the way through from the beginning to the end. It really does help out a lot, as well as when you hit that like button, leave a comment, and please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell, uh, even though sometimes my videos don't pop up in people's subscription feeds. So if you get a chance, you know, come through to check out the channel all on your own without the subscription box because sometimes they just don't pop in. So yeah, YouTube makes it hard for the YouTube authors once in a while, right? You gotta have a challenge. But anyway, these two figures right over here, they are pretty good looking people. Pieces. I do have my frustrations though, man. Yeah, the collector figure with the with the whole lack of wrist swivel, uh, the Civil Warrior and the stumpy arms, and I don't know. I, I still feel like I like them a lot, even though there are those things that bother me with them. I gotta say, I like the Civil Warrior figure a little bit more than the collector figure, 
but I'm still giving them both a sun rating of it's not so bad. So not great, but not so bad at the same time. You know what I mean? There, there are the faults, but I do like them both. I think they just both look really cool. I'm happy with them. I want to know what you guys think, so please leave a comment down below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, photos, and forums, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And be sure to check me out on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm sure of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.